Today Food is sponsored by Toyota. Let's go places. All right, if you're hosting a holiday get together and need a pretty dish that's always a crowd pleaser, we've got just what you're looking for. It is a recipe straight out of Chef Ronnie Wu's new cookbook. It's called Did You Eat Yet? Hey, Ronnie, how are you? Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me. Tell us me. about this new book. Yes. Oh, my God. Well, it's one of my favorite books. It's great for the holidays, by the yeah. way. Like, it's my new cookbook. You have these cozy, fun fall recipes, but it actually transitions perfectly into spring and summer. Ooh. I want a book that kind of be year-round. You can just build your weekly arsenal and just have, like, really right. go-to recipes. This feels kind of comfort you, food Yeah, you brought, this like, a good right. holiday recipe. This is a holiday recipe. So what are we making? We want something warm and cozy because mm -hmm. it's really cold. Okay, so we're making meatballs, okay? So this is sort of my go-to meatball mix. You can use it's whatever. Chicken. It's chicken. This is chicken, but you can use kind of whatever ground meat okay. you want. This is a raw oh, egg. How are you with cracking eggs? So, so she's okay. Okay. Oh. I always do it on a flat surface. Why is that? Because it, you, you get less crumbs. Okay. If you do it on a flat, it gives like a cleaner, a cleaner. And that's crust. I didn't panko. Know that. Yeah, that's panko. Panko. Yep. It's a little lighter, a little sweeter. Mayo. Mayo. So this keeps it super moist. Yep. Pepper. Ground back pepper. Mm -hmm. Some kosher salt. Garlic powder. Mm -hmm. And then onion powder. Okay. And these are sort of the staples. You have all the stuff yeah, in the totally. pan sheet. Yep. Then you mix it up. Okay. Give it a quick mix. So the mix is a little sticky. But I say that because it's a little sticky because it's moist. So you're gonna. You have want really it to be sticky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, they don't have to be perfect. I feel I feel like dry meatballs kind of I mean like non-sticky mix comes out with dry meatballs yeah it okay. does so this is a little sticky so just can use a cookie scoop. Can you put oil on the cookie scoop or no? You, you don't can put to. oil on this co cookie scoop but all what I do is I just scoop it and I put it in the dishwasher and it's clean. And you okay. use parchment paper on underneath. underneath. I use parchment paper because we're gonna bake it so it's ah. like a, a stress-free And how long do you cook, cook it for? Just I mean just until they're brown on top and cooked through I would say like 10, 15, 20 okay. minutes. Can I mean, we make this sauce? Yes oh my god you're gonna love this Okay sauce. tell me this is chicken stock? This is chicken stock okay so we have some butter with some onions. Mm -hmm. I always like cook my onions on high heat and just like move mm, it around gosh, constantly. That smells great. So if it chars a little bit, it's, it's really cream. not a big deal. Yep, char. Yeah, we have heavy cream. Heavy cream. Nope, cream. heavy cream. But if you don't have heavy cream, use half and half. We're gonna use some fresh garlic here. We have some tomato paste. That's grated ginger. I always use the stuff you buy in the freezer that's pre-grated, mm -hmm. which makes it easier. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a good so we idea. got tomato paste. And again, this is a really hearty sauce. What is that? That is turmeric. 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 By the way, turmeric is, is what is the magic Super ingredient. Really good for you. You can find the fresh kind. Grate that fresh because the fresh kind's even where better for you. Where do you find the fresh kind? Like any sort of like high-end grocery. But where is it? In the here? fresh product. In like by the ginger. Okay. So this is garam masala. And if you don't have garam masala, which is an Indian spice blend, just use all the sea herbs. So like, you know, the sea spices like cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, cumin. Oh. And okay. then some peppercorn. That's all, all right. it really is. It's all just right. a really so, easy. Mm, the, the aroma's How great. beautiful. So, and then you just delicious. simmer it right there. Then you just simmer it. And so what you do, if you're making these separately, which is great, you can just like freeze both of them separately. But the sure. sauce is so Should good. We put the, and then put you put them in? in. Yep. Oh, so, so once you... they come in the oven, you put them in. And so if you don't want to make the meatballs that you're short on time, yeah. just use dark meat chicken pieces. Okay. And then simmer it. What happens is the sauce and the juices from the meatballs, they all kind of blend together and become a happy family. And then you have... This. And you like to serve it over rice? I love oh. to serve. I mean, who is doesn't that, love rice? Is that this is not. Or non? You can I use love pita, non. but if you can't I find love non, 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 too. non is one of my yeah. favorite breads. It's so good. So mm. then what you do is you just like mix it up and then you let it simmer for a little bit. It fills the house with delicious smells. And it's just like mm. perfect. You make this in a huge batch. How is it? Delicious. So the good. The sauce. Right? Is amazing, mm. isn't it? So, so mm. if you have leftover sauce, which you won't, but if you do, just reuse it the next day. Like, just keep reusing. It's a gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, totally. <laughs> like, this is honestly. So delicious. Ronnie, thank, thank you. you. Mm, oh, thank my God. you. Thank you for and having me. And to get me. this recipe, y'all, and to get Ronnie's new book, go to today.com slash food or scan that QR code right there on mm -hmm. the screen there to is. create a Today account so you can save any of your recipes for your next holiday get-together.